All right, question 4C. We're solving a trigonometric equation. First the steps. We're going to check the range and make sure your calculator is set correctly. Number 2. We're going to have to get the trig ratio alone. And if there's more than one, we have to get them to be the same. Uh, number 3. What we're going to do is, is if there's going to be something inside the parentheses with the x or the theta, then we're going to substitute it out. We're going to use that later, but we're just going to get it out of the way for the beginning. So we also have to adjust the range based on that. Uh, we're going to solve using the inverse trig ratio, and then we're going to do a quick sketch, and we're going to find another angle that will give us the same result. After we've got two angles, well then what we're going to do is we're going to add 360 to sine and cosine to find more angles to fit within the range, and we're going to add or subtract 180 to tangent to find more angles within the range. Once we've got all the angles within our adjusted range, well then what we're going to do is we're going to substitute back in what we had taken out originally and then solve. So let's try it. First, the uh, trig ratio is by itself. We notice that we're in degrees. We make sure the calculator is set correctly. And what we're going to do now is take this 2x plus 45 out and we're replace it with theta. And that's all we've done is just substituted it. We'll come back to that later. So now we're on step three, and there, the range has to be adjusted. And so what we're going to do is just take it and do whatever it says to the numbers in the range. Our new range is going to be 0 plus 45, or 45, and our 2 times 180 plus 45, that's going to give us 405. So now, we got cosine theta 0.8, we do the inverse, cosine negative 1, 0.8, we find the angle. That's going to be, uh, the angle should be 36.9, that's degrees, remember? Alright, so now what we're going to do is do a quick sketch. It's in the first quadrant, there he is, an angle of 36.9 degrees. And what we're going to do is find another one that's going to give us the same result of 0.8. Well, it's cosine, so we go over the x-axis. We use the 36.9 as a reference angle. So basically, all we've got to do is to find this other angle is take 360 and subtract the 36.9. That other positive angle is going to be 323.1. And now we've got two angles. Now, if we add 360 to this, because you'll notice the 36.9, that is not within our range of being between 45 and 405. If we add the 360 to the 36.9, we get 396.9. So now we've got to replace our theta with what it's equal to and then finish solving. And so we're going to have these equations here. And all I've got to do is subtract 45 and divide by 2. And that's going to give me an answer of, uh, for the first one, 175.95 or 175, 176. And then for this next one, when I take away 45 and divide by 2, I'm going to get an answer of 139.1. And again, just to show you, this other angle, this, this 36.9 that's less than 45, had we done this, we wouldn't be within our original range. We'd be below zero, so we wouldn't be able to use it. So these are our two angles. These are our two answers. Thanks for watching. Hope that helped.